If you want to add some sets and flair to free motion quilting designs, this video is full of mojo for you. We have tricks and ideas to change your designs, to use your designs in a very specific and intentional way so you can make easy designs look stunning. And if you already know, know how to make some more advanced designs, they will have a good use here too. So let's get started asking simple questions. Are you, are your designs look, well, blah, blah, blah. Let's start again. When you look at your designs, you feel that the effort you put in quilting them is less or more than the good looks of it. Does that question make sense? I hope it does. I have another one if that's the, if it's just, that's just weird. If it doesn't, if it doesn't matter. I hope that you like bad jokes and some um, honest mistakes in videos because we have that a lot among with custom quilting very amazing tips and tricks so subscribe right now because you don't want to miss other fun so i have another question do you have to know a lot of designs in order to make a professional looking custom quilting this is a classic around here in Orbital Universe. And another one is how can you evolve your quilting skills, your quilting looking, the, the looks of your quilting to a jaw dropping level using design tricks. We are doing everything, every, we are answering all those questions today. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you get to that point. Yeah, I hope you do. <laughs> After there's a lot of weird <laughs> mistakes with just <laughs> basic words. I don't know. You can okay. think about. <laughs> so the first thing that you have to trick in your designs to get that mojo, to get that sass, is to use high impact information. So if a design is easy to quilt, and uses the skills that you already have, but sometimes, somehow, with this easiness and the, the the skills that you already have, somehow they create an intricate effect. They create a complex design using those easy things. They will look very professional because they will have high impact on the information level. Yeah, the high impact thing could be also uh, be read as it will look like the quilter is lying to the audience <laughs> by presenting <laughs> something that looks super complex and difficult and time consuming to do, but that actually it is the completely opposite of it. And yeah. to so you can see what yes. we are talking about. Yes, we have some skip the ditch aesthetic here. So you can see that we can make all this beauty just with the arc movement. So skip the ditch is all about being custom, continuous and super, super, super easy and fast to do. So we have many strategies to place the arcs in a way that you will give this super jaw-dropping effect of complex designs that look hard, that look difficult, that look advanced. Professional, but, yeah. very, very accustomed, high level, professionally done, yeah. but it, they are actually super simple it's like, and easy. You know, I, I don't mean that in a bad way, but they are so easy that our cats could do it. You know, I, I do that kind of weird comparison many, many times. And I'm not here judging if you say, oh, I think I can. I can tell you, yes, you can. And Xavier and Balea could say the same thing. They're, they're our cats. So, so now we're talking about our cats. How about we present ourselves? Great. Hi, Quitter! Welcome to Orbital Quitting Studio, home of Alini Bugari, which is me. And Natasha Bugari. And Xavier and Balea, yeah. our cats. I hope I, if I knew we were talking about our cats, you can check them on Instagram. Yeah. Well, subscribe, comment right now because I know you've loved this video. 
as much as we are loving to record it. So we put a lot of concept in this video because designs they can be tricky when we are talking about free motion quilting and custom quilting some designs are very hard to do and they don't look this amazing and other designs are very easy to do and they look stunning so we are trying to point your attention to specific characteristics of designs so you can start to be more intentional when picking designs and that will give you that sass, that mojo, that flair when picking designs for custom quilting or free motion quilting or both. So the other thing that we want, um, that we always want from our designs is the wow effect. So the wow effect is when you master a design but that design can easily be adapted into other forms, into other shapes. shapes, into other levels, into other designs even, but with that same base. So it's kind of the same concept from the skip the ditch method, yeah. which we talked a little bit before, seconds ago. Yeah. And, but now we are, paying attention not only to one movement and to the construction of the design, but how that design can be changed, adapt, and evolved to create wow effect. And preferably those designs will be easy to do because we like easy things. Oh. But you know, you know us, you know us. Do you know us? Let us know in the comments. But you know, we like um, easy things to do and to teach because we like balance. We like to evolve your skills in one area of the quilt and then have beautiful, good looking, easy designs in another, another areas. So we have balance and we have that good feeling when we are quilting. So we had an example that is a classic, an orbital mm -hmm. classic here mm -hmm. in yes. our universe. That is the floor de lis design which is like that little cauliflower on top of the, <laughs> the white triangle. The white triangle, yeah. yeah. So this is uh, one design that looks super complex, super amazing, but you can adapt to so many different shapes. So here on the center of the magenta triangle, you have fleur de lis once again. But that we, we've created that in a different way yeah. with different... Um, complementary elements yeah. so it looks kind of different but it's the same design it's yeah. the same main design which is the floor yeah. delete and the same skill that you already have we're just multiplying oh, yeah. it oh yeah and here we have floor delete again going around the star on the white fabric so we have floor delete and we have a variation with those little loops on the sides which is a variation of the first triangle that, that yeah. has complementary loops yeah. also. <laughs> and here on the corner of this um, green border, we have Fleur de Lis also in a super, super amazing use that is combining two designs to make it. Yeah. And we have this amazing corner yeah, so this design already gives us the, the next point, which is innovative designs. But first, I want to remind you that we have a link in the description so you can start orbital quilting for free. So orbital quilting is our method of quilting and teaching quilting. We've quilted since 2014, more than 1,500 quilts for clients and lots and lots and lots of classes and personal quilts and all the mistakes you can have and all the solutions you can think of and you cannot also because our brains are crazy. It's, uh, yeah, anyone has a brain, every, everyone is unique, so you can grab other solutions different from your brain. So the link is here below. I hope you join us. It is super amazing. So the innovative designs are the situation when you give a design a fresh look, a fresh use of the same design. So sometimes 
we've seen a lot of a lot of times the same design or we've quilted that same designs a lot of times but if you do like a little peek you look at the design and think what else could i do with it what else could this design be you can have a fresh look you can have a new feeling from the design that you already know how to quilt yeah. and you already are super comfortable quilting and we have some examples here yeah and before i show you let me just say that um this uh, approach of the innovative trick to your designs is the same that i hope we are achieving to do by showing you that you have a potential to go further or to start for motion quilting and there is the same thing with the designs they have a potential that we can elevate we can make it apparent okay so here we have this amazing warmy design in we a... call it warmy is parallel straight lines connect with little curves yes and they're doing this movement that's so amazing to this block so instead of doing quilting in the ditch yeah. and then um, filling up the left out space with this warmy design we tweaked it a little and it came out at this um, as this amazing incredible design that looks very complex but it's actually super easy to quilt oh and can i say one thing you're looking at this and i need you to know that this design is completely continuous oh yeah you won't do this spiral and end up breaking a thread inside of it actually it is continuous you go in you go out and you quilt the whole quilt just with one start and stopping point. And I think that's super important because usually when you see these spiral movements, you think I oh, will have to break a thread or and travel yeah, on top whole, of already quilted yes, motifs. And that doesn't thread. work on orbital quilting architecture no, no, no. or orbital quilting skip the ditch fruit affiliate sun method from orbital quilting Baby architecture. Method. Yeah. Okay, amazing. So it is continuous okay <laughs> and here we have the innovative of bringing together we already start talking about it but it's to bring together in this forming a new design a special design that is ribbon candy ribbon candy plus wish bones. wish bones exactly so we have this amazing look that i call it is well it's a cyclope. cyclope, yes, because so ribbon candy itself, we call it it is head because it has the triangular shape of it is head. So when we put wishbones inside of it, we're forming just one eye <laughs> for this ET. So we call it the cyclope ET. So why not? So no, you it, can innovate on the names yes. of the designs too. You'll see that a lot yeah. here on our channel. So subscribe now and comment if you're liking. And now we have some different uses for the high tension design. High tension design is this zigzag movement that you are seeing with the straight lines on the white fabric. And we do have videos here for you to do the high tension design. And now you are able to see some very nice different ways to put it and you have different effects of it so it is a border design yeah. but we use it to fill up squares and triangles and to to make another designs in borders so here in these two white sections we have the high tension designs but they are kind of different from what we usually see because we are treating the design differently we are spacing out things and here they are very near to each other this is the orbital quilting architecture Sample. main training yeah. sampler so those designs inside the flying geese they are actually super fun to quilt but they look so advanced and then we place the high tension design which is a very beginner design next to each. So both of them can show off their features. So high tension designs give it movement and give it 
a little bit of oddness. It's like, what this design is making? What is, what is going on in this block? But because they're so different, they enhance each other and they look amazing. And it is an innovative way to use these kind of designs and these kind of approaches. So find out if the designs you're using have those specific features, because if they have, they will allow your quilting to have that mojo, to have that sass that we love, to have more authenticity to them. And if you want to learn any of the methods that you've saw today, you can just ask in the comments. And of course, you should try the free and amazing course that we've prepared and you can sub subscribe on the link in the description. I hope you have a terrific time. Let us know if you like it and we'll see you on the flip side.